Previously on Paragon School for Girls. Seriously, you can borrow it. Looks good on you. Are you sure? Peanut butter. Really. Fern, you found your special talent. But hide it because girls with abilities are disappearing. Indeed. <sighs> Which brings us to number six. This phase is staging. I'm Dr. Ellis, Chief Administrator of Paragon School for Girls, and you all know Vivianne. Each girl manifests in her own unique way. Some shift at once, while others manifest a small ability that grows in strength over time. It all depends on a young lady's training. <laughs> and that's what makes Paragon so vital. This school provides the training necessary to excel with your given talents. The most seemingly subtle gift can blossom into the most incredible power. This is why you must notify your instructor the moment your ability emerges. Or that of your classmate. It's not snitching. It's looking out for your sisters. If she can I like your bracelet. Thanks. Since when do you like jewelry? Just being nice. I don't want to borrow your stupid bracelet. Okay, what's up with you? Nothing. Can I say anything without being attacked? I'm not attacking you. I... Ow! Caitlin! You just rolled over my toe. Please watch where you're going. Move it, turkey! Caitlin's number one! It's like I could feel every molecule of air between me and her, and I, I just... Pushed. <laughs> oh, this is gonna be fun. <laughs> Big. Small. Big. Small. That's excellent, Fern. Now you're just showing off. Fern, <laughs> this feels weird. Yeah, she's my friend. Elena. She can move things with her mind. Great powers wasted on another floor. Um, Millicent, I think I lost your bracelet. No biggie. Really. I'll replace it. It's all right. Seriously. Are you sure? What's that? It's a letter from my mother. How exciting. Not really. This isn't my mother's handwriting.
is it, Fern? How come you haven't told anyone about me? I know to you girls I'm just the maid. But I was a student here once. I really believe in Paragon. I do. I haven't been more than a mile from here since I first arrived. But girls are graduating before they're ready. You're here to learn how to control your abilities. Something's going on. And I'm afraid it's something dangerous to you girls. Thank you for looking out for us. Miss Click, Helena didn't take dinner, and she's not in her room. I just received word from the initiative. Uh, she was graduated. <laughs> but she hadn't even manifested. What is going on? I know this is highly illogical. You know, while I understand the need to isolate the girls from the general population, I, I feel like I must speak to Dr. Ellis about this. Miss Click, but we have our orders. They may have extracted her because she manifested dangerously. We shouldn't question the initiative. You're right. They do no more than we do. Besides, their eyes are everywhere. Hello, Caitlin. You gonna visit again? I like your visits. You get lonely, too. I remember when I was a student here. This whole place had been closed for 20 years after the tragic incident. We were the first class after they reopened the school. It was just... Miss Click, Miss Copperpenny, Annie, and me. They all got their ability, but I never did. It's like the sound waves of my voice become electrical impulses that override the brain. Anyways, look. Put your pencil in your nose. Put your pencil in your nose. Put your pencil in your nose. Girls, Annie, leave her alone. Vera, there will always be a place for you here in Paragon. But I'm not useless. I have a job. Dr. Ellis says that sometimes the gene remains latent and never emerges. Oh my gosh, Caitlin. Caitlin's number one!